guys so welcome back to my channel i know it's been like over a month since i have uploaded a video on youtube but i will just not take your time or waste your time by explaining why wasn't i available or whatever and if you're new here i'm with Trabinda and i make content on beauty makeup skincare lifestyle etc and thank you for joining my journey i hope you guys are having a good time so for today's video i'd be doing this look right here with navratri starting and with durga puja around the corner i thought why not do a desi glam look speaking very honestly i started this look saying that oh it's gonna be like a very demi glam sort of a look but obviously i ended up doing this i have put all the details starting from the earring to the makeup products i have used in the description box down below so do check that out if you guys are wondering what are the products i've used and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and yeah without any further ado let's just get into the video i am still confused which side it is but we'll get the hang of it right so so i'm starting with a bare bare face and the first thing i'll do is i'll spritz some rose water and water on my face because that's how i like it i let it dry and moisturize my face really well next i'm using the fit me loose powder all over my face and neck i recently started doing this and i cannot emphasize enough on how smooth the base becomes Next, I'm using the Fix Plus by MAC. You can use any setting spray as you want. And I'm going to be using this mini uh primer I had. I got this free with some MAC product. So I thought, why not? So I'm going to be using it all over my face, mostly on the areas where I have pores. I'm going to massage it really well. Next, I'm using the Becca Backlight Primer. I love this product and I cannot tell you how good this is. Uh, you can use any stroke cream as you like. The MAC one or the Maybelline one are like really good. Next, I am going to be using a concealer. This is a tad bit darker than my skin tone, but it works as a corrector perfectly for me. I have done some extra steps in this tutorial particularly but I just wanted to go all glam out there. It's not compulsory for you guys to do or use all the products I have been using. You can alternate stuff or like you know use products you actually have. You don't have to go out and invest in new products. Just do yourself okay. I'm just blending the product really well here making sure there aren't any harsh lines left. I know that I could cut this entire process short but then I just wanted to show you guys that blending is the key so just blend the products really well. I'm using the Maybelline Superstay foundation here um, in the shade 220. I have fallen in love with this foundation and I do not remember using anything else since last month. I'm gonna be blending it well with a beauty sponge but then for some reason I felt it was not getting blended properly so I went ahead and used my pack buffing brush. I'll put the number of the brush in the description box for you guys. As I've already mentioned earlier blending is the key. I'm also taking the product in my ears because it looks discolored and it looks weird. I'm using the Age Rewind concealer and the Skin Genius foundation stick. Um, the foundation stick is darker and the concealer is obviously lighter in color just to contour and highlight my face. This process brings shadows to your lips and makes it look like a bit more plumped and I personally like that. You can skip it if you don't like it. I'm placing the concealer under my eye and on the high points of my face and then I'm just gonna blend everything in really well. Stop judging, I know I look weird, okay? But I swear it'll all come together. Just wait and watch. Personally for me, I'm not in a very celebratory mood this year with puja or like navratri but do let me know what are your plans 
uh, how are you planning to celebrate puja or navratri in this covid situation in this pandemic situation we are all in so what i did was i blended all the contour lines first and then i blended the highlight because it gives me a space for correction if i want like if i had some contour lines going wrong i could correct it with the highlight part so yeah i also went ahead and put some loose powder under my eyes it just got cut somehow and also did my brows with the so brow technique and filled it in with some brown eye shadow i'm using the tan beauty this is all i need palette here and i'll put everything in the description box for you guys so you can check it out honestly i did not know where this look was going up till now here i was just blending some neutral colors on my eyelid and i was just thinking what to do do we want to do smoky eyes or we want something neutral but yeah then i kind of saw that glitter foil eye shadow and i was like dude this is what i want to do today i'm taking some more of the warm colors in the palette to create the depth on my crease and i'm gonna blend it really well make sure there aren't any harsh lines left after you're done blending because a lot of times it happens that you blend it really well but for some reason um, there are some certain lines and when you click pictures it comes really 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 well on them and doesn't really look good so make sure you blend it really well i'm extremely sorry my voice is a little bit broken um i don't know i just woke up like this today so yeah so i'm just packing this color on my eye with my fingers and then i'm going to be blending it with a fluffy brush and i'll be repeating this process twice or thrice because i really wanted that color to pop out as i said pack and blend pack and blend here we go with the round three um i was loving it when it was done um this was the last round i went to it as we are calling it rounds right now i also went ahead and put some black eye shadow around the corners just to bring more depth this color looked so gorgeous on the eye i cannot even i went ahead and did my lower lash line after that and also used my maybelline flush creator blush there's no point showing you the top because there's nothing left the sticker is all gone i am using the mac soft and gentle the mineralized skin finish soft and gentle here i love 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 this highlighter i've said that a lot in this video <laughs> i love 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 a lot of products it seems but yeah i'm just going to put it on the high points and also all over my neck it's just look so nice you know when the light hits your skin and it's all glowy i just suggest you to put it all over i guess cuz honestly i do that i used the maybelline kajal here to tight line my eyes and also went ahead and did two wings on each end of my eye that's all i did but you do you so you can go ahead and bring the drama draw those winged liner or like you know go ahead deep with the kajal it's all up to you um next i went ahead and curled my lashes and used the uh, l'oreal lash paradise this is one of the very good mascaras available in the market right now i have fallen in love with lip liners honestly i was never a lip liner person but recently i've started using them and you know out drawing my lips a little bit and trust me there's no going back the ones by sugar are really good uh, maybelline has some good lip liners i don't know i'll just maybe suggest some in the description box for you guys if you're new to it but i think everybody should line their lips i'm just kidding you line your lips if you want to <laughs> line your lips 
next i went with one of my most favorite reds ever the red carpet by color show maybelline i don't know where was this lipstick for so long i haven't used this in over a year i feel but i remember this one time there was this phase i only use this lipstick i think this is my third red carpet i'm not even kidding I'm just blending everything in and yeah i was done with the look i really liked creating this look um i don't know like with navratri and durga pujo i feel you can surely accommodate this look at least on one day and jazz it up according to yourself and according to your outfit um i went ahead and did my hair put the earrings on and also went ahead and put a bindi um so yeah i really enjoyed it and i hope to see you guys soon